Hello class 7, welcome back. Uh, again, I am back with biology and as you know that we are doing chapter number 1. I have already started with uh, like plant tissue and I have introduced about the various types of plant tissue. As you know that the, there are main two types of plant tissue, isn't it? They are marismatic tissue and permanent tissue. We have already done with the parasitic tissue and their types and from permanent tissue we have completed the simple permanent tissue and their types. Okay, now we move on to the next uh, permanent tissue that is complex permanent tissue. Now what is complex permanent tissue? Complex permanent tissue, the other name for complex permanent tissue is also known as vascular tissue. Okay, vascular tissue means what? They have vessels to transport materials like basically uh, this uh, complex permanent tissue is also known as conducting tissue conducting tissue means they transport required many materials from the roots to the uh, leaves and from the leaves to the various parts of the plant right now these are there are two conducting tissues basically there are two conducting tissue that is one is known as phloem, another one is known as xylem. Now, I, as you can see on the board, you can see the diagram over here. Complex tissue is also known as conducting tissue, right? And also known as vascular tissue. Now, this conducting tissue are of two types, xylem and phloem. Now, xylem, this tissue basically consists of four parts. The four parts are what? Trackets, okay, and uh, they are also uh, vessels, xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers. And uh, as you know that xylem tissue or this tissue is basically are having dead cells, okay. And xylem tissue, uh, it is unidirectional. Unidirectional means uh, whatever material they will transport they will transport only in one direction that is from roots to the leaves they will not come back right so they are uni first one is they are made up of four types of cells that is first is trachytes vessels like xylem xylem parenchyma and the fourth one is xylem fibers and uh, second point is this that xylem tissues are Basically, they are having dead cells, okay, and uh, they are unidirectional. And what is the main function of xylem? The main function of the xylem is it transports material. What material? That is water, minerals, whatever is needed for the plant uh, for photosynthesis from the soil. They uh, through roots they transport to the leaves. Okay, then we come to the Phloem. Now, phloem is another type of tissue which helps the plant to transport the prepared material. Prepared material means what? That is the food after transporting the raw material to the leaves. The food, uh, the leaves prepare food by the process of photosynthesis. Now, this food needs to be transported to the different parts of the body so that the plant grow well. So, that is done by phloem. Okay, so what is the function of phloem? Phloem helps the plant to transport the prepared material from the leaves to the different parts of the body. Now, what are the uh, like basic characteristic or physical like uh, features? In phloem, they are also made up of four types of uh, parts. Now, they are, uh, that is, um, they are consist of sieve, alright, sieve tube, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. So they are, this phloem is made up of these four parts. What are they? Sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. Now, second thing, uh, phloem tissue is, live. they are having living cells. Okay. And third point is that phloem tissue is having bidirectional way of transporting material. The bidirectional means like in, in case of xylem you have seen it is only unidirectional transportation. Whereas in case of 
No, if it is bidirectional, that is, it uh, the tra like material, the prepared food can go to the uh, uh, in downward direction, and it also can go from uh, from down to the upward direction. Okay, so I'm going to show you here the basic features of uh, xylem and phloem. You can see I will send you this pic of the page, and you can read, and also you can write the basic differences between the xylem and phloem. Now xylem uh, transports water and mineral by the roots to the plants. Whereas phloem, what does it do? It conducts food manufactured in the leaves to the other parts of the plant. Now second point is what? They consist of mainly dead cells. That means xylem consists of mainly dead cells. Okay. Whereas phloem consists of all living cells. Then third differentiation point is what? Xylem is unidirectional and phloem is bidirectional. That means uh, bidirectional means it can go from down to up and up to down. Okay. And uh, what you will be doing is you will draw the diagram which is given in your book. You can from there you can see the diagram and draw xylem and phloem. Okay. Now uh, this is the last topic of your plant tissue. Now what we will do is we will just take a recap of the plant tissue what we have learned so far. Okay. Now I am going to show you on the uh, book. This page also I will be sending you so that you can draw in your copy. As you can see here, what we have learned from the beginning, this is the revision of plant tissue. So far what we have learned. Okay. So plant tissue basically divided into two types of tissues, main two types of tissue that is merismatic tissue and permanent tissue. Now what is permanent uh, like merismatic tissue? In merismatic tissue, okay, so we are doing the revision of plant tissue, right? So merismatic tissue as we have already learned that merismatic tissues are those group of cells which are actively divided. Then we come to the permanent tissue. Permanent tissues are group of cells which have dead cells. Okay. That means they are not dead cell, cells. They are non-dividing cells and they contribute in various functions. Then mesmeric tissue on the basis of their um, uh, locations they are present in three types. They are having three types. What is What are they? First one is apical meristematic tissue. Second is lateral merismatic tissue and third one is intercalary merismatic tissue. Then in permanent tissue, we come to the permanent tissue. Permanent tissue is basically divided into two main types of tissue. That is simple tissue and complex tissue. Now simple tissue is again on the basis of their function, they are divided into two types. That is protective simple, protective permanent tissue we can say and supportive permanent tissue. Now, protective permanent tissue does not have any type of uh, types. Uh, they are only present on, on the epidermis of, of the plant parts. And whereas supportive tissue, they are having three types. What are they? They are parenchyma, chlorenchyma or cholenchyma and the third one is tearenchyma. Then we move on to the complex tissue. Complex tissue is also known as conducting tissue and also known as vascular tissue. Okay. Now complex tissue is further divided into two types of tissues that is xylem and phloem. Now xylem is basically uh, helps the plant to transport uh, raw material that is uh, water and minerals from the soil through roots to the leaves whereas phloem helps the plant to transport prepared food from the leaves to the different parts of the body of the plant. Right. So this is your plant tissue and here we complete the plant tissues. What you will do is you will read chap, uh, page H2, uh, I think it is given from page number 8 to 12 you will read because these are the pages which includes all the different types of plant tissue. And I will be giving you some assignment based on today's video. You will do that at the same time you will I will send you uh, this page, you will draw in your copy and you will also write the difference between xylem and phloem. Okay, and uh, this much in this video. Next video, 
we will start with animal tissue okay till then bye bye and take care